Never answer a question that you don't want to answer. Have you ever been in a situation where someone came up to you and asked a very personal or private question, especially in front of other people, and they were very pushy and confrontational about getting an answer, and you felt very pressured into answering? Well, of course, everyone has. It's been... It's either it could be very big moments or trivial moments that these kinds of things happen. More often than not, it's the common thing just to answer. Is right. That's what we've been taught, just to answer the questions, especially from a position of authority. What a lot of guys don't realize, though, is that you have the power to not fall down to this peer pressure or the shame that might be put on you for not answering a question. Especially if this kind of question is coming from someone who doesn't have leverage over you. For example, like a boss or a parent or a spouse. Anyone who can have a certain leverage over you if you don't answer that question. Well, you might be wondering what kind of questions am I talking about if you're a little confused. Like, for example, if someone came up to you and maybe a friend asked you how much you weigh. And by the way they ask it, you kind of realize that it's not a friendly curiosity. You sense in their voice that it's a little bit more malicious attempt. That they're trying to use it as a way to put you down in front of other people. Or to put themselves up. Or it could be a situation, say, at work where you, one of your coworkers asks you how much money you make in front of other people. And they're trying to do this to get some kind of advantage over some kind of boss or make you look bad in front of other co-workers and make them jealous, either if you make more or less. But these are all just kind of questions that you might not want to answer. And again, we're almost conditioned to always answer questions, you know, from when we're in school, right? We, the teacher asks the questions, you answer. If your parent asks a question, you answer. If a coach asks a question, you answer at all these positions of authority. However, it's a very useful tool if you realize that you don't have to answer, especially as a grown adult, as a guy. You hold a certain position of authority, power, and independence that you don't have to answer these very private questions. Right? Now, a lot of people do know this. It could be a for some, it's a very obvious thing. But what people really get troubled with is how to go about it. That sometimes they don't want to answer, and they don't know how to go about it, so they just answer anyway. Right? Because answering is the easy way, but it's not going to be in your best interest. Your any these questions, they're not meant to be the best for you. So these questions are not in your best interest. So why would you do it? Unless there's some kind of consequence for not doing it. For example, like say if a boss is trying to figure out some kind of situation at work that you can potentially get fired over or a police officer pulls you over. But more so the trivial things. For example, with friends, co-workers, your significant other, those kinds of situations. The wrong way people go about this is they will Answer, they will refuse to answer the question, but make it very overt. For example, they just say, oh, I'm not going to answer that. Or they'll say, they'll just stay quiet, which isn't terrible. It's not going to make you lose, but you'll never win, right? It's pretty much refusing to play in this situation. And in some cases, that could be worse because that can raise the interest of others about what's the answer. And if you eventually do give in, then not only do you lose the interaction, they'll also lose respect, where people will kind of realize that they can push you and pressure you into an answer. But there are a few tactics to go about it where you can completely avoid a question and make yourself look better. And that's through deflection and suppression. So for example, say I have a guy over here, let's name him Zach. Right, that comes up to me in front of other people, and he asks how much money I have in my wallet. Right, and I don't want to. I don't want to answer that question because, regardless of how much money I have in my wallet, 
it's just going to be used for Zack to put me down somehow. I suspect that how he's going about it. So if I say I only have ten dollars in my wallet, he'll use that to make me look bad by not having any money. Or if I say like, oh, I have five hundred, then he can use that to laugh at saying that, oh, I'm lying about stuff, or I'm trying to make myself feel better about having, try to pretend I have money even though I really don't. See, it, any kind of situation like that, where it's never going to be in your best interest. So a good way to go about it is make a joke. Make a joke about your situation, right? So, for example, he asks that question where it's like, oh, how much money have your wallet? I could say, oh, I had this amount, amount of money before, like, some homeless guy robbed me just right before. And, or some other kind of joke, you can go about it. So by creating humor about it and getting the other people to laugh around you, you can kind of deflect the attention off the question. So, and once that happens, it's very easy for the conversation to go on about something, either with another joke or another topic comes up, and I completely avoided the situation. Not only that, though, I made the other people laugh, so they're going to be more favorable to my position. Which is important is if Zach continues to push on me, or after I make the joke, he continues to push, like, okay, but really, how much money you have? Right? And if you are able to deflect or suppress a situation where, like, the suppression would be more so asking Zach why he's a asking me this question, like, wait, why do you care so much? Do you not have any money? Do you need money for the bus? Like, something like that. So, it's just always going in a different route than the route that's not going to be in your best interest, which is the question. But if Zach continues to push and you keep deflecting, the other people are going to turn on Zach. And it's going to be Zach is going to appear very nosy or very pushy, and they're not going to, they're going to go against him if he keeps asking the question. Subconsciously, people realize, can sense eventually when someone doesn't want to answer the question. And if they're going about it the right way, they'll start to side with you. Or if you're making light of the situation and try to raise the mood, but the other person is putting it down, then they can be pressured into, like, wait, why are you asking this question? What are you trying to do in this situation? So this whole do not answer a question situation, that's ve very specific, right? But there's this falls into an encompassing topic of you're in control of your interactions, of holding your frame. That anytime you enter a conversation or, or engage with someone, you have the power to be in charge and decide what direction it's going. Right? It can be a fight and it can be tough and you're going to make mistakes along the way, but you can do it. Just keep in mind this acronym. DEAR. Do not defend, excuse, explain, or rationalize. Now, I did not come with this come up with this this has been a term that's been a while for around for at least a decade and it pretty much means what it says that don't do any of those that any action you do or anything you say you do not have to defend it you do not have to excuse it or explain or rationalize if i do something very overt and offensive to other people if i say i state a fact that's not very popular and people are either demanding an apology or an explanation or anything. I can say, nope, that's what I believe. That's how it is. And they might try to push out an answer or an apology no matter what. If you decide, I'm not going to do that, you do not have to do that. Why? Because you're the man. You're in charge. If that's your frame, I'm going to do that because I want to. That's enlightened self-interest. This statement, what I just did, is in my interest, so I'm going to do it, and I'm going to stand by it. And this deer will come up in many other topics I have later down the line, but that's something to keep in mind. Anytime you do something unpopular, or someone accuses you of something, or asks a very private question, just keep that in mind. That if you're not going to answer it or you don't want to tell everyone your motivations for something, you don't have to. Okay? Don't fall into the, the grasp of social manipulation. 
I'll leave you with that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.